This week on Sport Fishing, we'll be fishing aboard the Outrider at a 22nd Street landing in San Pedro, California. We'll be heading over to Catalina Island looking for calico bass, halibut, you never know what to expect. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. That's a nice vermilion right there. Yeah, this is what fishing is like. I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. Or fish? I'm not sure. It felt like it was shaking his head. Maybe a big halibut. I mean, if you need a gap. Is it shaking its head at all? Uh, Just kelp. No, okay, leave it in the water. Yeah. When it goes. <laughs> All right. Leave a halibut. There we go. Leave a halibut. Ryan just caught it. Today we're fishing aboard the Outrider. We're here at Catalina Island. And we just started fishing this morning. Nice halibut. Ron got that on the bottom. You're fishing that whole squid? Yes. Drop a loop. Drop a loop in the whole squid. Well, that's what we're going to be doing today. Fishing here at the island for the Outrider. Looking for calico bass, yellowtail, maybe white sea bass and definitely a halibut or two. Hi, my name is Mike Shaw. Welcome to the Cabrillo Marine Aquarium. Here at the aquarium, I'm standing in front of our kelp tank, which is an aquarium that shows you the kind of fish you find in a kelp forest right here off Southern California. One of the fish that everybody really identifies with is called a kelp bass or a calico bass. I think one of the reasons people like it is because it's, uh, it's beautiful. It blends in with the environment so readily. Calico bass, kelp bass are very common in our local kelp forests. They really are kind of an iconic kelp forest inhabitant. Nice bass. Oh, big bass. Nice calico bass at Catalina Island on a bucktail. There we go. Just got bit on a bucktail. I don't know if it's a bass or a blue perch. Let's see what it is. Nice calico. There we go. Legal calico bass. Got that on a bucktail with a whole dead squid pinned on there and just let it flutter down. And this is what we're looking for and hopefully we run into some white sea bass too. Nice calico bass, cut on a B-52 bucket. Go ahead and let this one go. Well, we're gonna take a little break from the action here aboard the Outrider Catalina and go to the tackle box and show you the gear we're using for today's type of fishing. 
This week in the Tackle Box, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today. You know, we're fishing over at the island, looking for calico bass, never know what to expect, maybe an exotic or two. But because we're targeting the calicos and we have live squid for bait, I really like to fish with a bucktail. And this is a bucktail right here. And they work really good. The big advantage with using a bucktail is I know exactly where my bait is at all time. If it's laying on the bottom, I know that's where my bait is. And as I wind the lure up a little bit, I'm picking that lure up off the bottom, working it. I know exactly where it is. I know that sounds a little weird, you know, why does it matter? But it's really important if you're fishing with a sliding sinker, maybe your sinker's all the way in the bottom, but your bait could be anywhere from five feet to 20 feet off the bottom. You don't know where it is. With the bucktail, as that bait is falling to the bottom, I know that there's no real, lots of slack out there. And as that lure's falling, fish picks it up. I know exactly where it is and I can set the hook and I get an idea of the depth that the fish are hanging out in. And I can target that depth over and over. If it's right on the bottom, off the bottom 10, 20 feet or up on the surface, I'll get a good idea by the way this bucktail falls. Now it's really important when you're fishing in these kelpie areas that you have your bucktail take a long time to fall down. Having that live squid on there will help with that. It's gonna take longer for it to go down. But what really helps a lot is the size of bucktail you use. This is a half ounce model. This is a six ounce model. This is gonna fall a lot faster than that. But if I can get away, if I can cast far enough with a, a half ounce model, that's what I'm gonna use. I'm not really necessarily worried about the size of the hook because this is a much smaller. I just wanna get that bucktail in there a couple of times and let that bait take its time and flutter down. If I have lots of current or if I have a lot longer cast to make, then I'm gonna move up. I'm gonna to go to a two ounce or a one ounce. Sometimes I even have to use a six ounce bucktail. If we have just have screaming current, that's the only way I can get down there. And I know it looks like a big bait and it is, but to a five pound or eight pound calico bass, this just looks like a little French fry. They're gonna eat that whole squid behind it and this at the same time, and they work out really good. Again, I really like the bucktails because I know exactly where my bait is at all times. And the one tip I would tell you is use the lightest bucktail that you can get away with that you can cast comfortably, get it by the kelp and let it slowly flutter down and you'll be successful using these baits with the live squid or even the fresh dead it works really good. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Good morning, we're out here at Catalina on the Outrider and we've got the lights on here and we're jigging for squid. The lights will attract them so I've dropped down a squid jig here and working it up and down real slowly. And occasionally I will snag one and bring it up and put it in the bait tank. So far I've gotten two in the last five minutes. It's kind of slow out here but as they come around we're hoping to eventually we can rail them and put them aboard but in the meantime I have something to do, I'm kind of trying to snag them here and there. Calico. Yeah, beautiful calico out of Catalina. What do you got, Manny? Calico? Yeah, calico. calico. Nice calico. On a bucktail. Another bucktail fish, guys.
Nice, way to fish them today. Half ounce bucktail equals calico bass. Catalina Island. Here we go. We got one going here. There it is. See that green bucktail. That's a nice calico bass right there. Beautiful fish, and you see, it just devoured that bucktail. He ate it pretty deep, and probably have to keep this one. Nice legal bass. Next. Oh. It takes skill to catch them anywhere but the mouth. <laughs> exactly. That's how good the bucktails are. You just have to get in the area. Oh, They're waking up. I'm loving with this legal. Look at the calico bass here. This is a little sheep head that Ernie just caught on a strip of squid. And you can tell it's a female because it's all red. And this is the only fish in the Pacific Ocean that changes uh, sexes. And then as the area needs uh, males, the males die off or move off, then some of the females will switch over to become a male. It's the only fish that does that in this area. That is a big fish, Manny. Nice, nice calico bass. Yeah, I'm going to let this one go. He's too big. Yeah, he's too big. Yeah. This is Manny fishing out with us. Comes out this lot. He's using a one ounce B52 bucktail. Had a whole squid on there. He's got a really big calico bass. This fish should go, what, about 25 years old? About 20, 25 years old. I'm going to guess right around four and a half pounds, maybe five pounds. Yeah, at least five pounds. That's beautiful a beautiful fish. fish. Maybe six. That's at least five. Beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. Nice fish. The here. All right, well, we're going to take a little break from the action here and go to the galley and show you how to cook up a beautiful fish that we're catching here today at Catalina Island. But we're not going to cook this one up. We're going to let this one go right now. Standing next to me is Chef Keith Allman. He's done cooking segments with us in the past and he's back to join us again. Hey Keith, thanks for coming back. Thanks for having me. So what do you have for us today? Today we're gonna do halibut wrapped with asparagus and bacon skewer with a spicy lemon teriyaki sauce. Ooh, that sounds interesting. So, have a few here. Now the first th thing that's important is you wanna soak overnight or at least for four to six hours your skewers in water. This keeps them from burning on the grill. Okay. All right, so I'll have one here. There's some halibut and some bacon. This is just a half piece of bacon. You can be a little bit uh, generous on your cubes. You don't want to make them too small because this is all going to shrink after you cook it. So I have about a one inch by one inch cube. Some asparagus. Wrap it up with a half slice of bacon. Skewer. Let's make our sauce. So I have about a cup of teriyaki sauce. Add a half lemon. And a tablespoon of sriracha. I know you like it spicy. Yeah, you can add a little more. I don't think I've ever had a fish dish that didn't have some lemon in it. Okay, the next step is let's baste them a little bit. Now we're ready to put them on the grill? Yeah, we're ready to put them on the grill. Grease the grill a little bit. That's just gonna keep the fish from sticking? Mm hmm That smells so you good. You can already smell that. <laughs> Too bad they, the viewers can't smell that at home. All right, let's check these out. All right. Oh well yeah, that's nice. Nice. Okay. What do you see what I do with these? Okay. These are really spicy, all right? Which is, I know how you like them. Mm -hmm. So I've taken a cantaloupe, cut it in half, I've taken the balls out and put them back in. And I'm gonna, this is a great way to serve at a party. Oops, one fell out. 
And what I want you to do, because it's so spicy, mm -hmm. is pull one out, stab a little piece of cantaloupe, and take a bite. Eat the cantaloupe with a piece of. But you know me better. I can just have it straight, but I'll do that since you said. That's good. I mean, a to totally different taste with the coldness from the melon and then that warm bacon and fish. That's really cool. Well, thanks, Keith. You're welcome. This is a nice, simple dish you can do. Great appetizer dish. Too bad we didn't have this for Super Bowl Sunday. It would have been nice. It's a great little dish there. And, and like you said, if you did enough of them, it'd be a full meal. Mm -hmm. You may have some brown rice with it. It'd be a great meal. Well, thanks again. For more information about Keith, he's gonna have a Facebook page really soon. Look for him, be Keith Allman or Chef Keith Allman. Chef Keith Allman. And we'll have a link to him on our website too. All right, well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Here we go. It's a perch. We got a calico coming here. There he is, color. Nice calico. Got this on a weighted hook with a piece of dead squid. Nice little fish. Big calico bass. All right, well, we're gonna make a little move right now. We're gonna run farther toward the center of the island over toward Cat Harbor. We're still looking for white sea bass, yellowtail, hopefully. We've already got a halibut on board. You never know, maybe we'll get another one. So stay tuned, we'll be right back with more action right here on Sports Fishing. My name is Captain Dave Cottle here on the Outrider. We're fishing Catalina Island. We're here in the middle of the back of the island here at Cape Cortez, fishing calico bass, white sea bass, and yellowtail. All Perfect. You're welcome. Or a guitar fish. It came back. A little palatable. The seal doesn't get it. No, it's there. Nope. Oh yeah, he's there. Let's see what we got here. A little color coming up. Looks like a little calico bass. A little calico bass in the bucktail. My smallest calico of the day. Got this guy on a green bucktail, one ounce. Skipper just made another move. Let this guy go. And uh, we're working our way back toward the front of the island. We're all the way down Center Island. And we're coming around the west end. Uh, trying this spot. Probably got one or two more spots to try today. But we got plenty of calicos. Got nice halibut so far. And now we're looking for that sea bass. That's what we're trying. I'm still staying with the bucktail. But we are getting some fish on the live sardines. I shouldn't say we're getting fish. We're getting bit on live sardines. That's what we're looking for right here. All right. Talk them through it. Nice, nice and smooth up. Is he coming up close? Coming all the way up. All the way up. Nice. Coming all the way up. Bat ring. Oh, it is the bat ring. Two going. Jim's on two. Why? Hope you guys aren't on the same fish. I think so. No. No, they're not. You got this a couple times. Okay, you guys switch. Where's Peter? Oh, little Peter. 
Ooh, nice piece of kelp. I can help you out with that, sir. That Thank you, awesome. sir. You're very welcome. There's only 40 pound limit of these you can have in the state of California. He's got the fish, we got the noti. I think I'm gonna bounce them up. There we go. There's that sheep head and there's that weighted hook. I was talking about right there. And this one's legal. I'm gonna go ahead and cook this guy up. You can steam these and they taste like crab meat. It's really good eating fish, great eating fish. Well, we're gonna take a little break from the action. When we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. For this week's tip of the week, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about what we did today aboard the Outrider. Now we had, for live bait, we had sardines and live squid. And they both worked, but live squid was by far the best bait. And the way most of the guys fished today was using the B52 Bucktails, both half ounce and one ounce model, and then they'd pin a whole squid onto it, cast it out by the calves and by the reefs, and just let it slowly fall down toward the fish. And the bass would come out and rip it and grab it. And what's great about using a bucktail, you don't have any sliding weight or anything there, so when the fish bite it, you know that hook's in their mouth. Just drive the hook into the fish, and that's this week's tip. When you're fishing light squid like this for the calicos, use a bucktail and you'll catch more fish. Well, I want to thank Captain Dave and everybody aboard the Outrider. We had a great time fishing with them today. I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.